What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome to a special Space Engineers video. While it may not seem like it at first, this Space Engineers game is not actually running on my PC. This is running on GeForce Now's servers off somewhere in the world. Now before we go any further, this is not a sponsored video. I just wanted to check this out because I've always been skeptical of these sorts of services uh, where you essentially kind of stream games from like a server somewhere. I've always thought like the lag and stuff would be way too much to be playable. But now we have our chance to get in and kind of mess around with it and see what it's like. Um, now there is an added bonus of course. Since this is not actually running on my computer, I can bump all of the settings to extreme. So that is definitely a perk. And we have done so. All the settings are at their max. I don't know what Flares Intensity does. I'll just put it to 2.0 and I hope that I hope that's not bad. Um, but uh, let's essentially, let, let's just get in here. We're gonna run a world and see kind of what it feels like compared to the normal space engineers that might be running um, that might be running on my computer. Uh, so let's go to a new game and uh, we'll go to a custom game. We'll just do a probably like an Earth planet maybe. All right, so right off the bat, it's kind of a long loading screen, but you can never really tell we're trying to get back get you back into the game. What? My network connection is spotty. Are you kidding me? My ping is like six. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is, okay, this is new. This is a screen that is new. From the loading screen, we are now at this weird uh, triangle screen, which I've never seen before. Maybe this is a cool feature of Space Engineers. All right, I think it crashed or something because we're now at this screen. It's been like uh, three or four minutes. We're just kind of chilling here. Uh, maybe I have to restart it. I don't know. All right, we're back. We're loading into the world again. Let's see if we can get in before it uh, tells me my connection is bad again. All right, we are in. Oh gosh. Oh, my sensitivity is crazy. Okay, let me let me change my settings and stuff and then I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Let's uh let's head out here. First of all, I want to say this. I am amazed currently at how little input lag there is. It's Oh, okay. That uh, as I say, as I say that, a little bit right there. But uh, I'm talking about general input lag when I move my mouse. It's almost imperceptible. I will say that. Maybe like on a subconscious level, uh, maybe on a voice crack level, maybe on a subconscious level I might notice it. Um, but honestly, like just looking for it, I don't, I don't feel it really. This is actually pretty good. Um, let's go outside and see how the world looks outside because remember we are on the uh, max settings here. Uh, okay, there's a planet off there. Uh, hello world. Hello ship. What is up? Okay, that load distance was a little weird. Maybe that's just base game. I don't know. I'm looking for everything now. There's no grass. Did the settings maybe turn back to uh, to low? Ah, they did. Probably because I restarted. Let's turn everything to extreme again and see what happens. Oh, we are back and welcome to Space Engineers. Very laggy. Holy crap. Wait, let's, let's wait for it to kind of calm down a little bit. Okay, now it is laggy. Now this is something I didn't expect. I expected it to run the like pro settings really easily just on account of like it's on someone else's computer, but I guess not everyone, or maybe it's not like a perfect server that it's running on. So now we do have a lot of lag, but I will say Space Engineers looks really good. Um, it's, it's nice to see some grass down there. Uh, also those particle effects look really good. But again, this is, this is I mean, it's not great. I'll, I'll say that. It's not great when you're running on max settings. So going into this, I was really expecting it to run really well on these settings, but I was expecting to see a lot of movement lag and what I actually experience is a lot less movement lag, but at the same time it's not running well on these settings uh, one bit. Um, let me change it back to the medium settings, maybe even just high settings, and see what see if that fixes it. Alright, we're now on high settings uh, with a lot less grass density and everything. Um, the game doesn't look as good, it still looks pretty good I will say though. I play on medium when I record because, uh, because usually it takes a lot out of the PC, but we're now on high settings. Um, on high settings like this there's a lot of input lag still. So, uh, so maybe we have to go even down to medium, which is unfortunate because really the only reason I would use this service realistically is if I wanted to record high quality footage and my PC couldn't handle it. But it seems like even their servers can't handle it. Uh, so let's run to medium settings and see if that's fine. All right, jump down to medium and everything is good again. I can now look around. Uh, the input lag is a little bit like I can actually sense it's there now. Previously when we started this, we were on low settings. So I guess really uh, the the uh, um, the less that they have to send you in terms of graphics, the uh, the easier it is. A little bit of lag every once in a while here and there. Let's try flying a ship, and see how that kind of is. Oh wait, we're already good to fly. Okay. 
Uh, all right, let's go on a little. Uh, let's let's mine some ores down here. A little bit of lag there. A uh, lot of lag there. <laughs> yeah, we're having some performance issues here. Uh, let's let's try to mine. Oh man, oh it's not liking it one bit. We're just on medium settings. What's going on? Uh, let's try and mine some nickel here. We'll go into the ground. And, oh god, it's so loud without sneaky sounds. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, just your standard mining ores. I'll tell you what. When you're in the cave, it's not it's not that bad. You can't tell anything. You can't tell the difference between anything. All right, we got some nickel. Let's go ahead and fly back to the base. I'll have to turn around. The sensitivity's a little low, but that's probably just because uh, because I haven't I don't have my settings on this world. Um, so when you start a world like this, it takes your Steam account, but you don't have all the settings you have normally from your Space Engineers. You have to like re-input those, because it's technically like another instance of your thing running. So let's go ahead and put that- I'm not even going to land it, I'm just going to throw it right there and let it kind of exist. Alright! Mining wasn't that bad. Uh, initially when we were flying out there we had a little bit of lag um, that I would not normally experience on my PC. Uh, but, I mean, that's not that bad. Occasionally when I turn around it stutters a little bit, which uh, I imagine could get pretty annoying. But I mean, for all intents and purposes, I'm playing Space Engineers, and my PC is not chugging at all. I have, I'm have i using 10% of GPU. Usually this game would be using up 99%. So, uh, so I mean, if, if you don't have a GPU or anything, or if you're, if you're, uh, if you're running kind of a, a system that's not meant to, to handle Space Engineers, this could definitely be a solution for you. Um, this or a service uh, like this. Let's try out... Do we have a combat ship in here? I want to go see if we can attack that thing. Alright, let's go do a little bit of combat. Let's go uh, Let's go over there and see if we can fight the, uh, the thing. Now keep in mind I'm really bad at combat, so this will be interesting. Weapon is... Okay, weapon is not out of ammo. Thank you very much. But, uh, but we're gonna go attack this thing and see, see kind of how the combat works, maybe. This will be interesting. <laughs> Let's go into the camera. Do a barrel roll. No. Hey, this thing handles a barrel roll pretty well. I know some ships that I've made would simply crash the second it tried to do that. But we're nearing the place. Let's prepare to open fire. Not quite there yet, though. We have to be in range. And maybe around here. Let's light him up. I see a drone off to the left. Let's maybe try and take that out. Oh, no. This is not going to go well. This is not going to go well. Ah! Uh, take out the guns! Take out the guns! <laughs> okay, it has not gone well at all. We can at least tuck in our tails and retreat, though. Or can we? How's our ship looking? Okay, you know, you know, it's seen better days. Oh, shoot, we're going down to the ground. I think we survived this, though. If that thing's gonna chase us, though, so we're not gonna survive for long. That wasn't that bad, though. I mean, all things considered. <laughs> oh, there goes there goes a bunch of parts. <laughs> Alright, home sweet home. Let's uh let's jump out of this thing and uh and go and build our own. I wanna try and build some stuff. So let's just kinda let that uh do its own thing. We might be attacked though, because I think that thing might be chasing us. Do we have guns on this thing? Uh, no, we do not. Okay, in that case, we're going to have to implement uh, melee warfare tactics, um, aka charge. Nope, it's really difficult. It's really ah, there we go. That's the stuff. <laughs> Did we take it out though? That's the question. Why is the sensitivity so low on these ships? Yeah, we did absolutely take it out. I'm gonna give it one more one more piece of my mind there, so it knows not to mess with us again. All right, there we go. <laughs> we are safe at our base. Okay, I want to try and build some stuff. Uh, let me, let's see if we have any uh, steel plates anywhere. Um, well, first, do I have all my skins? Oh, sweet. Okay, we can become this guy. I don't know why he's so red. Let's become. Let's become the chef. Why not? All right, we got some steel plates. Let's do some building. I want to build a little hut, a little safety hut in case we get attacked again. So let's build something like this. Uh, and then let's weld it up as well. Oh, it's so loud. And the weld controls are really slow because I didn't set them earlier. I mean, building is not that bad. It's, it's, 
Honestly, like when I went into this, I was expecting a lot of input lag, a lot of jittery stuff. Like when I move my mouse, it would take like half a second before it moves on the screen or something like that. Because technically the game's running on another server, so any input that I put in has to go all the way to that server and then come all the way back. So it's really quite a journey for, uh, for every input that I put in. But honestly, like it kind of feels normal. Um, and maybe that's just my lack of being able to feel any uh, very slight differences, but I'm, I'm telling you, this is this is not as bad as I thought it was. It's it's really quite fine. Um, I can play Space Engineers, and I can play it almost as well as I could play normal Space Engineers. I mean, I'm practically running the settings I normally run in my game, so if I wanted to, if feasibly, like if I lost my computer today, and I had to play this on a laptop, um, this could work. I mean, it's, it's not bad. Um, currently... Yeah, I mean, currently it is using some GPU, so I imagine if if uh, if you have a really bad system, maybe it's still going to be not great. But but uh, my review of this is honestly, it's it's pretty good. <laughs> it's it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be, which is which is saying something. Now I will say this: um, the controls are a little weird uh, because you know how you do Control One, Two, Three, Four, Five to go to your hotbars. Control 1 apparently is a screenshot, and Control 2 is something else as well. So I can't actually hit those, I think I'd have to rebind those. Um, that's just NVIDIA controls or something. I will notice I am missing a lot of workshop content that I would usually have. Um, like the thing I just made, I just made a parachute thing, it's not here anymore. Uh, I wanted to check out my parkour thing, but I don't think I can because it's not in the, in the list. Uh, but we can do a little bit of parkour right here, see how that is. I mean, like, I'm able to do it. Never mind Space Engineer's, uh, Space Engineer's movement system. I'm able to effectively move, which is something that you would not see if the input lag was quite a bit. So, yeah. I think, honestly, this is all I need to see of this service to say that it's not as bad as I thought it was. Again, final review, because um, I don't want to make this video too long. It's just kind of getting in and seeing how the world looks, seeing how everything was. I'm disappointed by the inability to run a uh, an extreme graphics world. I was pretty sure that that was the whole purpose of using these services. Um, I did pay for the extended one, which supposedly has RTX turned on. So I am kind of surprised that it's unable to uh, unable to render the the uh, the the world in the extreme settings. Um, that said, again, I'm, I'm very impressed by the movement ability, by the lack of input lag. Uh, it just seems like you have to go down to a lower graphical setting for that to work. Um, so, all in all, kind of impressed. It's a good service, I, I think. I've never tried any of the other ones. This is GeForce Now, if you're interested. Again, not a sponsored video. Just wanted to check it out. Amazon Luna is another one that exists that's similar, although I think that one's still in beta. I know Google has one. Is it Google Stadia, maybe, is what it's called? Um... But anyways, I guess that's where we're going to end the video. If you guys have any experience with these services and would like to provide any information in the comments section below or any experiences you may have had, uh, please feel free to do so. If you like the video, hit the like button, put your comments, all things you have to say down below in the comments section. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers.